Boop. John Fedro with MobileHomeInvesting.net. I'm here in an undisclosed location uh, with active mobile home. Oh, I got real Hello. close to you, <laughs> Casey. <laughs> We're here at uh, Casey's newest acquisition. Which deal is this? This is actually deal number two. Two. In the first two months of being with John. Oh, that's funny. Right. So appreciate yeah. the plug. Right. Yes, sir. This is awesome. So this is a free. Well, what did you? How much do you pay for a home like this? So this particular home right here was what we call free ninety nine in my area. So it was one hundred percent free. So it, it I, did take work. Correct. Yeah, I had to take care of some past due lot rent. Um, taxes for the homeowner but other than that for the actual house zero zero for that uh, what did that come to roughly um, we're things? about a thousand dollars for past due fees and then the, the park wanted a deposit as well as the next month's lot rent so who turned you on to this one actually the park manager uh, gave my name to these homeowners yes because she did not want another headache and just doesn't have the time to deal with it. So um, gave me a call and said, hey, I have a seller. Here's their number. She was not originally loving you, right? You had oh, to kind of no. no. warm they, her up to you? The owner does not like investors, doesn't want to deal with them at all. But she understood the value that I brought to her by being able to take on these projects versus bringing in brand new homes. So she saw the savings took a little bit of uh, convincing to him and you know we're making it happen in this video we're going to talk about repairs we're going to talk about what to what we're going to do and not do uh, we're going to talk about the potentials of things uh, and we're going to talk about costs a little bit what do you expect to sell this one for to put it on the market for and begin advertising it for so this one here I plan on advertising just under 15,000 uh, that's just doing the basic repairs and fixing the major items that we have here. 15,000 cash? 15,000 cash, okay. correct. And depending on what repairs you get done before somebody sees it, you'll be more flexible. You yes. don't expect 15,000. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, awesome. Let's go take a look. Yeah, let's yeah. go. So this is the type of home that you get for free. And if someone's never been in a mobile home before, I mean, they can think, you know, you bit off more than you can chew, or this looks very, very bad. But it's a 96, so it's mm -hmm. not that old. Uh, electric everything, there's no, there's no gas? 100% electric. How many beds and baths? It's a two bedroom, two bath, right over a thousand square feet. So it's a lot. That is a big one for a two a two bedroom, and the ceilings look. It, are there any ceiling issues? There's no ceiling issues. Uh, we had a large rain uh, probably two days ago, and nothing's really came through and shown. Did you poop on the floor? I'm sorry. Was that? <laughs> I got excited when they said free. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool! Free and with toys. You've walked around the entire perimeter. Any any soft spots in the home? Uh, there are a few um, holes in the living room, okay. but as far as soft spots uh, anywhere else, it's actually pretty good. I noticed a broken window right here. You're gonna replace, uh, remove and replace the entire window, or are you just getting the piece, the uh, glass piece? Uh, the goal is is just to replace. Miss, replace the missing piece of glass there. Excellent. So keep it a single pane. Yeah. You can, I would suggest to remove the ACs while you're showing it. Remove the window ACs, put them in the closet, or put them in your trunk and bring them somewhere so people won't steal them. Because if they are in the closet, people might steal them. But it just looks better and this can close and mm -hmm. um, people won't be able to attempt it to come in. And, because the, and it has window units because the central air system does, does not work. Correct. Okay. This home has a bunch of different uh, wall panelings. Right here is drywall over gypsum. So this is drywall with, did I say drywall over gypsum? I meant wallpaper over gypsum. Here's the wallpaper. Uh, and then there's paneling. That old school paneling is in here as well. I, they might have installed the paneling. If you look on, once we get to the other far wall, it mm -hmm. looks like they just painted over the wallpaper. So it's the paneling with the wallpaper that they painted over. Okay. 
Uh, let's stop here in the living room. This is one of the worst spots right here. Underneath the window. So this is absolutely going to be fixed. Some of these issues that we're looking at have to be fixed, and we'll try to mention which ones, and some of them don't. Uh, how are you going to be selling this one ideally? Cash, payment? So cash is the preferred method on this one. Um, it's the least amount of repairs that would need to be done to the property. If I go payments, then I want to put it out a safe product. So we'll have to do a little more. Either way, you're disclosing everything that you know when someone wants to buy it. Look at just the low pride of ownership. I mean, there's just cat feces, dog feces. They were living like this. 100%. Yeah. Their couch was right there. Their couch was right there. So something I want to show folks, this entire wall, see if you can get me shaking the wall. And if, we can, if you can see just how much this shakes. When I do this shake test over here, you know, not, nothing's, nothing's happening. Putting my weight into it right here. So this is more than just removing and replacing these paneling pieces, although we do want to remove and replace everything. Um, we're also going to have to fix, figure out where the leak is coming from up on the roof, the roof line. Water's getting in and coming down. And then right here, if you can see, and we'll go outside so you can see this even better, but here's Where's the stud? Sorry, I'm breaking your home. You're gonna have to pay for that. Hi. <laughs> so here's where, oh, you can't even tell. So here's where I think a stud should be coming down here, and there's nothing. It's completely rotted, and we'll go outside and see that even better. But the stud is not holding into anything. And look at this, it's just so brittle. Some of this can be, uh, sistered onto with good wood, but this is gonna have to be fixed so it's, it's not shaking like this. People will not like that. Uh, same thing. Now this wall is, is, is firm, but we do have two holes right outside of the sliding glass door. Those will be patched up. Maybe this entire piece here coming out two or three feet will be removed and replaced. This wall is really firm though, I'm pushing on it. No shaking. That's pretty cool. That's like a antique roadshow kind of thing. I'm surprised they didn't take that. Stopping in the kitchen. This kitchen has a lot of potential. This whole home has a lot of potential. It's a pitched roof. Something you may not be able to tell on camera until I pan right here. This is from smoke. This is not a mobile home inspection video. This is an anti-smoking video. <laughs> Um, because this is what it, and it doesn't smell that bad. No. When you first came in here, it was terrible? It was terrible, yeah. Okay. It doesn't smell that bad at all, which is incredible. And getting this gone is, they do sell products to help get the nicotine off of everything and the tar. Um, you just want to paint over everything. Now, you're going to be selling this one uh, as is, as a handyman special. Correct. Once we fix up a number of the issues, uh, right here. Pan slowly so people don't get seasick. Uh, so what what do we think happened right here? Because clearly there was something right here. You know, what happened here? So what I'm thinking is the, there was an issue with the washer and dryer and there was a massive leak and the, the leveling of the home is possibly sloping away from the center towards the outside. So that water pretty much came along and that's what ruined the floors and why they ripped out the sheetrock and everything. Yeah, that sheetrock is just... And you can still see a little bit of evidence of, of mold. And now if you are gonna sell this as is, this is one of the things you wanna fix and remove and replace, but then remove and replace it, cover it up. Um, because if there is mold, uh, that's when people are gonna negotiate with you um, a lot because that does scare a lot of people, rightfully, rightfully so. And then behind here is all missing as well. Okay. So will you, what are your thoughts on rebuilding something right here? Well, you definitely want to replace back here. 
right yeah, the wall. Yeah, just to capping it a little bit where the wires hanging from the from the ceiling here. Are you gonna you're gonna re remove and yeah, replace this for sure? Yeah, the goal is to remove the siding and then put some sheetrock um, up there okay. to to fix that. So it's, I think that's an inexpensive fix right. to prevent uh, putting off potential buyers. The electric in the home still works. As scary as this might look, everything works. Everything works. Okay. Although we're not sure what that necessarily goes to. Well, that probably goes to that. So if you wanted to, if you're selling this as a handyman special, you're not going to read, you're not going to be replacing or adding any more counter space. Are you? I, not I just, put, I don't plan on putting anything there. Not right now. Okay. And then with the floors. Now, if you advertise this as a handyman special and everyone complains about, I can't stand this. I can't deal with this. Or, oh my God. I ran out of the house because of that. Absolutely address that problem. Um, but you won't know that necessarily until, until you advertise. So if you're brand new in mobile home investing, um, beware of overspending. I would rather you put something out on the market to get some feedback first. You don't have to sell it, but just to get that feedback to see what do people hate, what do people love? Because there's some repairs that people don't mind. Painting the home, people don't mind yeah, to do that. Mind. Putting in floor covering in the kitchen. That's on the cusp, but it's a it's a smaller spot, and they can they can do what they want. They can add whatever kind of floor covering they want. This carpet we're gonna we're gonna keep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did it come with the uh, the the vacuum? They left the vacuum. They left everything. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go into bedroom number two. Good size. We got a Christmas tree. Yeah, that was hiding the uh, water heater originally, so I missed it in the uh, closet there. Well, let's go check that out. And again, these folks were living, uh, it just, well, folks live however they want to live. Water heater. Date of manufacture, 2006. So that's old. All right. It still works, it still works. In the closet, the master bedroom closet, I found the data plate that's half torn off. Why they would try to remove it, I don't know. And they took off the most important piece up here. Oh, wind zone one, that's good to know. Wind zone two is for higher winds. Windows wind zone three is for the coastal areas. Look at that. Very interesting. Again, with the window units, you want to take those off. Are those windows broken or any, any of these windows broken? I did not notice. If you can, if you can believe it, sellers sometimes lie. Nice. Good. Good. This has seen better days. It has seen its, you know, fair share of water, but it's really solid. We would not touch it. Some people put a little piece of uh, paneling in there, just a little strip of just something decorative hmm. to just make it look better because it's not. Yeah, it's not a very simple fix yeah. for a big eyesore. And again, nice. No issues here. What do you, uh, so you purchased this one at? This one was uh, free 99. So free 99. Free. And then we, you have a budget. What's your budget? So for the, the repairs, for the walls, the sheetrock, and there's a little bit of plumbing underneath that we need to address. Uh, the goal is to be all in uh, with the repairs for around 3,000. All in for repairs around 3,000 which I believe is absolutely doable. Now, 3,000 is not gonna make, I mean, someone walking through this home uh, is gonna say this needs way more than 3,000. 3,000 wouldn't even fix the bathroom. Uh, and depending on what repairs you do or who you use, you, you may be right. That's sad, I mean, look, I just so many problems, always in, there's always fist holes and just anger issues are real and that's sad. Um, 
how flimsy these doors are as well. Look how just easy the construction is. That's why they always break. So you could, it would be better to honestly remove remove the door completely, just to not even give people like the, the, the thought to of, complain. exactly. Mm -hmm. And missing doors are yeah, like the first relatively common. Door, so it would be a match. A match. It would match, there you go. I don't believe in doors in this house. <laughs> Uh, this is a nice island, relatively, and not that common, but they have these like standalone islands with the sink in them. And then this, okay, so let's take a look. We've looked through the home now. Oh yeah, let's, well, here we go. Let's go at the front door. On the outside real briefly. This hardy board T111 siding. It could use a painting. Do you think that you're going to paint the outside? What do you think you're going to do to the outside to make the manager happy? Like um, to... The main thing that the manager was worried about was the skirting and okay. trying to make it look a little more presentable. Um, what do you mean? This isn't presentable? <laughs> okay, so leaves. Do uh, you think you're going to paint? Uh, starting out, no. I might pressure wash just okay. to get some of the the algae and stuff off. Um, this product 30 second cleaner. You should check it out. Spray it on, wait like more than 30 seconds and then spray it off. It's amazing. And because if you pressure wash this too hard, it'll, it'll there'll be no wall left. There'll be no wall left. <laughs> 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 they tried to, uh, I don't know what happened over here. All that tar. Maybe there was a overhang yeah, you can at see one the point. In the color of the, of the gray. Oh, you sure can. Like in between here and here? Uh, or kind of where the deck is almost. Yeah, unless you have that white line going down. Okay. So I really want to show folks. Yeah, all these leaves should be removed. I mean, little things like that will really impress the manager when you do them quickly. Here's where that wall, ah, uh, trying to, right here. Okay, so these nails, this is the stud right here. Wow, this is just completely rotted out from water, from bacteria. Oh my God, fungus, just, just eats the wood. Now, some of this needs to be replaced, some of this doesn't. Depending on who you use, they may try to talk you into getting everything replaced, but that's not needed. This home is not brand new, and we're not going to make it brand new. Uh, these couple sheets of siding should be replaced right here, right here, right here. Down this area, it'd be good to patch or to have a piece of uh, hardy board that you could cut and just run maybe two feet the whole length. And it would look like you've covered something. It looks like you're patching something, but it's decorative. Seal it, keep the water from getting in. I mean, look at this, it's just, just exposed. But inside the wall was good. If the wall was shaking like we had seen down there, we would want to replace this. But since that's not happening, here's an AC that doesn't work. Or what they say? It blows, it just doesn't it blow blows, cold? It blows, it just doesn't blow cold. Okay. And if they have window units, they've done a little research to figure out how much it would be to either band-aid this or get a new one, and they didn't want to do that, so it probably has some serious issues. I would have an AC person come out just to understand what the problem is, so you could educate the buyer okay. to say, oh, it's completely shot, or actually it just needs a $150 thing, in which case we would do it. Um, but then again, the ductwork going inside the home maybe ductwork maybe would be real bad as well um this is nice if you made it this far thanks for watching i hope you didn't get sick with how fast we were kind of walking around here i want to give a shout out to this guy seriously this home that you saw right here dealing with the park manager befriending the residents this is just deal number two of many many more to come yeah. i mean you're learning a lot in most days and oh yeah we're, yeah it just anyway Keep up. Yes, sir. Seriously. With your course, it makes it easy. Well, that was like that. <laughs> it's, I, uh, 
I feel bad like leaving it on that because all of the hard work that you've yeah. done to do it, the course is useless without someone putting in the action oh, uh, and talking regularly. And it's 100%. You have to take action or you're not going to see anything. So, but the course did help a lot. I oh yeah. Yes. All right. Thanks for watching everyone.